The original formula Dr. Pepper made with pure cane sugar is closer to the original and a better product. My grandfather was a stickler, and he stuck with sugar. He, he insisted upon it. We got people driving from all parts of the country to buy up cases of Dr. Pepper. When he died, it was like Santa Claus dying. He was buried with a Dr. Pepper in his hand. People would take it and send it everywhere. My dad used to drive to meet a guy who buy Dublin Dr. Pepper out of his trunk. I guess I had some friends whose dads made drug deals. My dad made Dublin Dr. Pepper deals. Dublin Dr. Pepper is now a collector's item. After 121 years, the last bottles rolled off the assembly line. That means layoffs for some Texas workers. All signs with the Dublin Dr. Pepper logo had to be removed. When my grandfather grew this thing, Dr. Pepper has always been a vital part of Dublin. Right now, Dr. Pepper officials are filing a lawsuit against the small company. The Dublin bottle was not staying in their territory. If anybody was in the wrong here, it was Dublin Dr. Pepper, and everything they're suffering now is a self-inflicted wound. If you had a complaint, couldn't you have told us about it 120 years ago? There shouldn't be that much fire wrapped up around a soft drink. We had an identity. When we said Dublin, people would say Dublin Dr. Pepper. It has definitely made a, a mark on the town. If I were a citizen of Dublin right now, I'd be very, very angry. We're going to be bigger than we ever were. Number one, he'd say, don't give up, first and foremost. That's the part that drives me every day.